hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time watching my video please subscribe i'm drizzy so travel educational vlog you know i've been dropping updates on how to study abroad and everything but actually something came up i'm i've not been able to do videos or drop videos but thanks to some of my subscribers you know they've been watching my video and they've been reaching out to me that why did i stop and this so through that i'll be able to you know carry myself along to start filming back so guys i'm back fully and thanks for the support and stay tuned i'm gonna be dropping <music> So today's episode is about you know your journey on how to study and navigate yourself towards achieving your aim, which is to study abroad. If you know you're really going to study, like there are a lot of countries you can apply to and everything in order for you to be able to achieve your dreams and everything. So you just have to know which country you want to go in. Like you all may know, there's Australia, there's US, there's UK, there's Canada. It depends on you. Like. You go for what's what's best for you. Like me, I'm going for what's best for mine, which is Canada. Why did I want to study in Canada? Like I keep saying this, Canada has the best educational system. Like I really love everything about them, and their professors and teachers. They are really serious about you know getting, making you achieve your goals, achieving your dreams. That is the most important thing to me. Like I really want to learn from the best and be able to you know, you know, educate myself. I know why I choose this. So that's just it. So number one thing I'll so that's just it and number one thing number one thing if you want to study abroad like everything you need to know this you need to know the country you're going like you have to know it so that's the main important thing and everything so the country is the main priority so when you know your country you'll be able to make a lot of research like you may know there are a lot of provinces in all this country and you have to know what which one works best for you like if you want to go to toronto you have to know you're going to go to toronto like if you want to go to sarcastron william Peak, like every every other places you need to know and on the list number two on the list is um so after making your research about the country you want to go like really know where you want to go you have to be able to know the province you want to study which which i just said the province is the main important thing of the aspect of you studying abroad and everything you have to know which one works best for you if you want to go to the u.s there are a lot of province new york new jersey California, Arizona, all those East DC. And even if you want to go to um UK, you know there's London, there's Manchester, there is there is um Liverpool, there's Remyam, Bristol. As many as these places is you have to know where where you want to go and which one works best for you. So that's the most important thing. Like you really need to know because if you don't know, you're just going to go to one location and you'll be able to find your way and like what am I doing and everything. So you have to know all these things. So that's the most important thing on number two on the list. So yeah, so that's on the list. Um which one is number three? Yeah, the university. Like I said, you need to know your provinces, then the university. So you have to know the universities you want to study, which which is the most important thing. Like there are a lot of universities in all these countries, all these places. You just have to make your research in order for you to be able to know. Like me, when I wanted to study in Canada, it was all about um Saitana College, yeah, and Seneca College. Then I have to make my research like you know Toronto is very expensive in Canada and everything. So I have to just make my research. So I make my research which get me to British Columbus. Um it got me to Saskatchewan, even Ontario, even Halifax. These are provinces in Canada, even William Pink. So you just have to know which one works for you and be able to know your universities and everything so which is number two so when you know your universities so the next step is for you to be able to know how it works so you need to know how the um the colleges works is most important thing and every every of this college is the best like they're gonna get the best out of you so you need to be serious about everything the fourth one um the major like a lot of students make mistakes on major like you really you really need to know what's best for you like you have to know the, the type of major you want to study you might have um like nigeria now we have um science commercial and arts so from this tree if you know you're a science student you need to you know you need to be particular in one aspect like this is what i want to do this is what i want to do and it's one of the things that affect us back home like when we are making these choices when we want to, we are going to um secondary um high school we just want to go there because of our friends and everything which is normal 
but when you know when you want to learn at the highest level which is the university the bachelor's degree and blah 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 so you know you have to know the major you want to invest invest yourself you know because everything's all for your future goals and everything in order for you to be able to you know understand what you're going to study so you need to be very critical so when you find out about your major the next thing you have to be very serious about like <laughs> you have to really be serious like you know i don't <laughs> like my friend tells me but you know i've not experienced it so when i get there i was experiencing myself like i need to know like They've been a complaint like you have to read or like it's not the way we do back home. Like you have to really which I'm me, I'm ready for it. I won't lie, I'm ready for it now. I need to study this bring in at least, you know, I'm just trying to bring this now. Is the grade, you know. When you get to school, you really need to work on your grade, which I don't which you won't even take it for granted. And working for your grade is by being in class, you know, doing your assignments. I heard there's gonna be a lot of assignment, not like Nigeria, like your assignment has to be much and everything so you have to work on it and everything so you need to be serious and everything so the assignment the grade you need to boost your grade you know i don't know how the grade this thing was but i just know that you have to work hard to that's everything I, um so that's just everything about it for the preparation and everything but you know i'll be coming in with a lot of video and if you have any um question you want to ask me about video and everything so just drop it in my comment section so i'll just do the video for you and everything it's my only two experience and everything so i'll be to share it with you guys so thank you for watching and i'm really grateful you know thanks for watching this one like it's been a lot it's been a long time but you know i just have to start dropping it and thank you guys for the reviews like on my instagram like the message that has been coming to me and you know i have nothing but i have to do this video so that's just thank you very much i love you guys and stay tuned and please don't forget to subscribe share and like all right thanks